What's up and how's she going? Uh, welcome to today's show. We'll be talking about the Holy Grail. That's right, the Holy Grail of records because everybody has a Holy Grail record. One that they've been chasing for for years and years and years, but for whatever reason, it simply just eludes them and they cannot get a hold of it they cannot find it it keeps them up at night they sweat buckets just at the mere thought of it and they will do anything including killing their own mother just to get this record and i'm going to tell you a story about my um holy grail my holy grail is nirvana's nevermind now it started back when i was about eh, probably about 10 maybe 11 years old I went on a trip to Duluth. I went to a certain mall in Duluth. I cannot remember the name of it, but inside they had a record store. I went into the record store and I slipped through their records until I came to the such record was Nirvana's Nevermind. Now the record was $9.99. Yes, I do remember that pretty clearly um, as it is stuck in my memory. But I remember just holding it and thinking I was debating for like an hour on whether or not I should simply just buy this record or not. And I really just debated it and debated it and debated it. And then for some reason or not, or other reason, I put the record back and I walked out of the store and went elsewhere. Now, um, I think about this record all the way up to and including to today. So I still think about this record and uh, anytime I go to a record store or I go to thrift shop or just sit through uh, somebody's crate of records, I always look for this record because simple fact that I passed it up a very extremely long time ago and I still regret it to this very day. This record has become my holy grail of records and I've been chasing it down ever since. Yes, that's right. And that's my one and only Holy Grail record. I don't really have any more that I'm really uh, chasing or looking for. But it is kind of the one that is like, um, I will not have a record collection complete unless I have this record. Pretty much. So anyway, let me know what you guys' Holy Grail records are in the comment section deep down below. Because I know that every single record collector or anybody that really listens to vinyl kind of has that one Holy Grail type record now there's of course other great great records out there but for some reason i don't really know i am a big fan of nirvana but i don't really know why this was kind of like the holy grail record but it was just the one that got away that uh, i've always regretted for years and i've simply never been able to find i'm sure there's copies of it on ebay or whatnot i've actually um never looked but uh usually i don't like to shop on so sorry about that Ladies and gentlemen, my battery and my camera did die, but like I was saying, I don't really like to shop on eBay too much. I'd rather just go physically to a record store or thrift shop or just physically kind of sift through uh, some crate of records. I know you definitely uh, must be the same because there's definitely something magical about just going through some records. But anyway, that is definitely my holy grail of uh, records is the Nirvana's Nevermind. Uh, like I said, uh, check deep down in the comments below and let me know what your holy grail is. And there's definitely some links in the description for you guys to go and check out. So go ahead and do that and like, comment, and subscribe. Check you guys later.